Most one say Kalalali Yahawa, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Kakodash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of Grimmel Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. And the brother Yahayar from James Kingston, Jimmy the Camp, here once again with a quick lesson. And we're going to use the book of Susanna to be an example of how the Heavenly Father will protect um, his children, you know, will protect his, his chosen. You know protect us against those who are going to um accuse us the scripture in the book of revelation 2 verse 10 says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that he may be tried and he shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life right so there is going to be a time of um <clears throat> Temptation, a time of trial, you know, which we are going to be faced with in the coming days ahead, man, because things are getting more and more severe, you know. We are going to be um, moved on by the powers that be for what we are doing, for the word that we are, for, for the word that we are teaching. As I mean, for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and we need to be prepared that there is a sure confidence in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that he will, um, he will surely deliver you understand so when we look into the story of um susanna right as the story mentions man she is the wife of joachim you understand so reading from verse one we're going to skip through a couple of verses just so that we can get to the meat of the matter and get um the, the the understanding from it right so it says there dwell a man in babylon called joachim and he took a wife whose name was susanna the daughter of Chelsius a fair woman and one that feared the Lord. Her parents also was right, were righteous and taught, taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. Now Joachim was a great rich man and had a fair garden joining into the, unto his house and to him resort, resorted the Jews because he was more honorable than all others. The same year were appointed two of the ancients of the people to be judges such as the Lord spake of. That wickedness came from Babylon, from ancient judges, who seemed to govern the people. These kept much at Joachim's house, and all that had any suits in law came unto them. Now when the people departed away at noon, Susanna went into her husband's garden to walk. And the two elders saw her going in every day and walking, so that their lust was inflamed toward her. And they perverted their own mind and turned away their eyes that they might not look upon upon unto heaven. Now remember just judgments, right? And albeit they both were wounded with their love, with yet thirst not one show another is grief. For they were ashamed to declare their loss that they desired to have to do with her, yet they watched diligently. From day to day to see her, the one said to the other, Let us now go home, for it is dinner time. So when they were going out, they departed the one from the other, and turning back again, they came to the same place. And after that, they had asked one another the cause, they acknowledged their loss, their loss. Then appointed they a time, both together, when they might find her alone. So these two wicked judges, men, them come to a state of agreement where they might acknowledge them lust for Susanna to themselves, right? Because first it is like them they hide it from each other, right? But when them discover, say, oh, the two of them is of the same mind, they make an agreement, right? When you read down in, in, the, in the chapter, it pretty much shows you how them go about, you know, um, undermining, trying to undermine the righteousness of Susanna so that they may lay a hold of her and sleep with her. Right, jumping down into scriptures, it says, it says that <laughs> jumping down, jumping down. All right, start from right or so. Zin. So it says, no, verse nineteen. No, when the maids were gone forth, because the maids were dear with Susanna, Zimmy, because she looked for a time when she was in the garden when nobody was in it. And she beckoned to her maids for go forth and gather some stuff so that she may take a bath in the garden. While these two wicked niggas was basically hiding in a corner. You see? 
So when she sent out her maids them, these two wicked nigger um pretty much jump out. The scripture I'm gonna tell you. <coughs> See, I'm gonna to get to the point where it relates to Israel, man, <coughs> and how our mind state is supposed to be. Because we're gonna have things like this happen to us when we're going to be accused. You know, where we where false accusation is going to be brought upon us. And we have to trust in the Lord that He will deliver. We have to trust in the Lord that, that the process, you know, is going to work out in our favor, man. Zain so verse 19 says, Now when the maids were gone forth, the two elders rose up and ran unto her, saying, Behold, the garden doors are shut. Then no man can see us, and we are in love with thee. Therefore consent unto us and lie with us. So let me tell Susan and say, Yo, throw up the thing. <clears throat> You know, it says, if thou wilt not, we will bear witness against thee that a young man was with thee, and therefore thou didst send away thy maids before thee, right, from thee. So they must bring a false accusation, they must accuse her of something that she didn't do, see, so that they may get consent to sleep with her. You understand? Likewise, the, 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 the elect, you know, the men of the Lord out there, they're going to be, they're going to be, um, Things that are brought upon us, accusations that are brought upon us, and deals with them we're gonna try to make so that we might undermine the righteous standards of the Heavenly Father. You see me? And we have to be of a particular standard. We have to tell them for fuck off, man, for lack of a better word. You see? It says, it says, <clears throat> yeah, verse 22. It says, Then Susanna sighed and said, I am straight on every side. For if I do this, it is death unto me, right? And if I do it not, I cannot escape your hands. So Susanna lay out the, lay out the, the, the position where she is, man. You see me? She's between, two, um, she be, she between a rock and a hard place, man. It says, it is better for me to fall into your hands and not do it than to sin in the sight of the Lord. And that is the mindset of the men of the Lord in the days to come. It is better to fall into the state of persecution. You know, persecution for righteousness sake. Zin, than to sin in the sight of the Heavenly Father. When the, the, the C hip comes, man. Zimmy, the RFID microchip comes, man. Zimmy, it is better. It is better to tell Esau. Zin, yo, do it do your worse. You know, because we not take that. Zin. We're not take that. We're not going to disagree as the commandments of the Heavenly Father, the standards of the Heavenly Father, for suit your purposes. <coughs> you see me? The scripture says, fight for the truth and the debt, and the Lord will fight for thee. That is the mentality we have to be in, man. You see me? We have to be in the mentality to stand firm. The scripture in the book of um, Psalms 121 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from whence cometh my strength. My strength cometh from the, from the Lord. You see me? He will not suffer thee. He that keep it thee will not slumber. You understand? Let me just get that. So that I don't misquote part of it. Because it's a very powerful um, psalms. Man. It's a very powerful psalms that you're supposed to try the best to remember. Because it's, it's words that will keep you grounded in the times to come. You see? It says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my, my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. You see me? Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and evil forevermore. See, that is what we're supposed to constantly chant and affirm ourselves with, man. Because the time of trials is coming. The time of being tested is coming. See, and this was, as, a, as the scripture refer, refers in Susanna, this was her time. And she stood valiantly for, for the standards of righteousness, yo. See, she was ready to die. She was ready to be put to death for the standards of righteousness. Likewise, we as well, in the times to come, we have to be ready. Right? Might be interrupted again, yo. Ah. Alright. Yeah, man. Anyways. 
He says, Then Susanna sighed and said, I am straight on every side, for if I do this thing, it is death unto me. And if I do it not, I cannot escape from I cannot escape your hands. It is better for me to fall into your hands and not do it than to sin in the sight of the Lord. With that Susanna cried with a loud voice, and the two your elders cried out against her. So them wicked nigger are pretty much a try for be the ones who seemingly, you know, catch her in a in a in a in a in a in, a, in, in an adulterous act, you know. So the scripture continues and says, "Then run the one and open the garden door." So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the in the garden, they rushed in at a private privy door to see what was done unto her. But when the elders had declared their matter, the servants were greatly ashamed, for there was never such a report made <coughs> of Susanna. You understand? It says, and it came to pass that the next day, when the people were assembled to her husband Joachim, the two elders came, also full of mischievous imagination against Susanna to put her to death, and said before the people, Send for Susanna, the daughter of Chelsius, Joachim's wife. So they sent. So she came with her father and mother, her children, and all her kindred. Now Susanna was a very delicate woman and beauteous to behold. And these wicked men commanded to uncover her face, for she was covered, that they might be filled with, their beauty, with her beauty. Therefore her friends and all that saw her wept. Then the two elders stood up in the midst of the people and laid their hands upon her head, and she weeping looked up unto looked up towards heaven, for her heart trusted the Lord. Right? The days are come where we have to have a firm faith, a firm trust in the Lord, man. As if though we are persecuted and though we are looked upon by everybody around us as being deserving. Of, of this thing because you don't know in this world that them them not like we man. You understand? Them not like we them don't like we because of the words we are preach. You see me? Them don't like we because of the standards of righteousness. Them don't really them don't they them not familiar with it, you know? You see me? Scripture says light is coming into the world and man love it darkness. You see me? Rather than light. And that is the state we are in right now. So we now are worse of state than Susanna, yo. You see me, at least in that time, she have some people where I look and say, but wait, Susanna never do this before. Susanna, Susanna have standards, man. You see me? No, our standards, you see me, standards of, as the scripture say, um, in the book of um, Isaiah, Isaiah 5. Let me see, Isaiah 5 verse... 25 there about or 20 say woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness in this current world men people change what is good to evil men us being out there on the highways and the byways telling people that their ways are wicked telling them say them, them cannot have telling females them cannot have multiple sex partner they look at us as if we are the wicked ones for telling them that. You know, telling a man that he can't, he can't have sex with another man woman. They look at us for telling them, look at us in disdain for telling them that, man. You understand? So anyways, back to the precept in Susanna, man. It says, Then the two elders stood up in the midst of the people and laid their hands upon her head. And she weeping looked up towards heaven for her trust. For her heart trust in the Lord. And the elders said, As we walked in the garden alone, this woman came in with two maids and shut the doors and sent the maids away. Then the young men who were who was hid came out, came unto her and lay with her. Then we that stood in the corner of the garden, seeing this wickedness, ran unto them. <coughs> Slack ya. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> and basically them professing this um this testament is it me this testimony zane they were elders so therefore they were considered to be right and just 
But Daniel, the spirit jumped on Daniel to stand for Susanna. And Daniel took the case and judged the matter. Right? And Daniel, judging the matter, found out that these two men were liars. Zane, the spirit already told them that were liars, but their words condemned them because they weren't in alignment in terms of what they were saying. Therefore, they were judged and found, want, found wanting. You understand? And that is what's going to happen to the Edomites them. You see me? Because the Edomites them, them accuse us. See, they are the ones who are persecutors. They are the ones who hatred, um, them have a perpetual hatred against the children of Israel. They are the ones who brought us into slavery. They are the ones who went far beyond just measure in punishing the children of Israel, in putting our people through hardcore, hardcore slavery, man, through multiple injustice. You understand? And that is those, those are the same people we are going to bring up certain charges against us and throw us into prison. You understand? They might come up, they might come up against us in various ways. And therefore, we have to basically trust in the Lord, man. Trust in the Lord that he might, go, he might go deliver us, man. Scripture in the book of Prov um, Revelation 12, verse 10 says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our Lord God and the power of Yahweh Shai. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. You see me? The accuser of our people is going to be cast down. The Edomites, them, them are going to be cast down. They are going to be trodden underfoot. You see? So just like how Susanna stood firm in the faith, knowledge, and power of Yahweh Hashem You see me? This story is a powerful story. Likewise, we have to be a scholar stand, stand firm. Man. You see? We have to stand firm. Man. We have to constantly be rooted and grounded in the in the sure confidence that the Heavenly Father will save me. See, because the time is coming when the accuser of our bridging is going to be cast down, which accuse them before our God day and night. So them are the ones, the Edomites, them, them are the ones who accuse the children of Israel, man. See, man? They are the ones who are who are sullying the name of the righteous people. See, they are the ones who are polluting. Our, our, our culture, our, our, our minds, our, our staking, um, our, our identity away from us, man. You understand? They go far beyond certain measures, as the scripture says, man. See? So the time is coming, the time is coming for salvation and the judgment of the Edomites, them, man. See me? That is the time that is coming, yo. See? So with that, I hope that this lesson was edifying to the children of Israel. To the elect of the children of Israel, I want to say, Kalalal Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakwadash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of Great Middle Stone, and salutations to all brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and truth. Shalom.